Party dance time. And action! Jackpot. The Hubble Space Telescope just captured this new image of Mars in May 2016. Mars was once warmer, wetter, and friendlier. And quite likely the first planet on which human explorers will one day land. Mars is dry, barren, and apparently hauntingly lifeless. You have the honor and the privilege to be on Mars. I don't know if you know this, Thor News is for winners, and that's why you're here. So stick around. Hit the button, baby. Stay cool. This is a Thor News presentation. Thor News presents Party Dance Time. Every time NASA lands a rover on Mars, it is cause for celebration. Right now, the wheels of curiosity have begun to blaze the trail for human footprints on Mars. Let's go to Mars! Welcome to my office. Mars is dry, barren, and apparently hauntingly lifeless. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. We are over at UPI, home science news, talking about how NASA says manned mission to Mars is still a long way off by Eric Duvall. You see, NASA's always like, Mars, bitches. Get your ass to Mars, people. Mars. And NASA's got like a million robots rolling around, flying around, cube satin around, spider walking around Mars. But the plan for a human mission to Mars seems like a lot of smoke being blown up our butts because there is no clear directive. There is no clear leader who is pushing for a manned mission to Mars. Personally, I want to see us go back to the moon. I would like to see a hotel on the moon that I can go play guitar and make love in zero G gravity while drinking margaritas. And I'd like to see us do a whole lot more shit with Venus, because Venus seems way, 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 way more interesting than Mars. But NASA says Venus is too hard. And NASA really likes all the weird occultian stuff that seems to surround Mars. And parts of NASA really like the war aspect that Mars brings in metaphor. Because there's a lot of money for science to be making up a war. Drones, surveillance, shit like that. A new map of Mars' gravity is the most detailed to date, providing a revealing glimpse into the hidden interior of the red planet. The map was derived using Doppler and range tracking data collected by NASA's Deep Space Network. Okay, great. Washington, though still 20 plus years in the offing. They love that word offing. NASA officials say their first manned mission to Mars would aim to create a permanent operations base that could be revisited. The comments made by Ben Bussey, the chief exploration scientist in NASA's Human Exploration and Operations Mission Directorate. Oh, uh, wow. Being in charge of human space exploration at NASA has to be like the easiest job ever. It's almost like being a bouncer at a hipster bar. You know what I'm saying? I guess you just stand around and smile a lot. Anyway, he indicates the plan would not be to create a permanent human outpost on the Red Planet, but a base of operations that would allow future manned missions a place to start. Oh, okay. So we're going to take the astronauts out there and then bring them back. The idea here is that you would have your exploration zone that you set up for the first crew, and that crew would leave, and then you would send another crew at the next good launch opportunity so it isn't permanently occupied, but it is visited multiple times. The possibility of a NASA-backed manned mission to Mars is still a long way down the road, Boosie said. Such an operation might not happen until the late 2030s, at the earliest. However, NASA released a new map of gravity on Mars. Woo! If you can map gravity on planets and the changes in the gravity, how come you couldn't detect gravity waves much sooner? You know what I'm saying? Anyway, which is to say the most accurate ever created, asterisk. Such a map would serve as a useful tool for planned missions there. By allowing astronauts to look 
at a sort of x-ray of the planet and pinpoint places where a landing site might prove ideal. How about at the bottom of the mountain? How about at the bottom of Olympus Mons, man? I know I'd go there just to walk up that mountain and stand at the top. That would be so cool. Such a map would serve as a useful tool for planned missions there by allowing astronauts to look at a sort of x-ray of the planet and pinpoint places. Okay, I read that. The possibility of a human mission to Mars is not necessarily dependent on NASA. However, SpaceX, the company founded by billionaire Elon Musk, and still yet to make any money, has made its goal to create a rapidly reusable rockets that could carry out continued manned missions from Earth to Mars with the goal of creating a large human colony there. All right, so this article doesn't say much, except we have a NASA official saying, oh yeah, that mission's a long way off, but we're still spending billions preparing to get there, though we have no actual mission set. Elon has a better model. NASA should cooperate with him rather than their present program, which, by the way, is a joke. It is using 20 to 30-year-old technology with brand, new, with brand new public relations to keep saying their present program is new. Remember, we went to the moon in 1969, and after five missions, we have never been back. And human space exploration is dead. Correction, a mission to Mars by America is a long way off. How about a manned mission to the moon first? Or even a womaned mission to the moon? All right, sounds good. If NASA had been in charge of exploring the new world, we'd still be manning forts in the Appalachians. Sounds like they do not intend to make it happen. They keep putting it off. I'm sure they could do a one-way mission within a decade if they had any real intention of doing it. Wow, it sounds like... A lot of the public is starting to get jaded on NASA. That's crazy. That's crazy, huh? Anyway, what, their curiosity selfies and their blowing bubbles on the ISS isn't lighting everybody's hearts on fire? I guess not. What happened to you, NASA? We gotta write your shit, man. You're the crowning jewel of inspiration. Or you're supposed to be. Let's get with it. Anyway, this is not news to you. Everybody knew NASA's Mars mission is a long way off. And we should really start practicing on the moon, you would think. Uh, but whatever, man. Okay, peace out. God bless everybody.